Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today I'm bringing you how to back up your photos on the Galaxy S6. Now, this not only goes for the S6, but really for all Android devices. And this is how you back them up. You go to the Play Store, and you're going to do a search for photos. And then you're going to install Google Photos. Now, what is Google Photos, you might ask? Well, Google Photos is essentially the best way to back up every single one of your photos. It's one place for all of your photos. It's simple and easy, and it doesn't lose the quality that you would typically lose with other ways to back up your photos. This keeps all the photos at 16 megapixels, which most smartphones aren't there yet or are right at 16, as well as it keeps all videos to 1080p. So that being said, it also has the Google way of searching. So you can search for people, places, things, all just by typing whatever word or looking at whichever face you wanna see. So let's take a look at this. And I'm gonna pull it up. And this is the app. So in this app, as you can see, it's backed up all my photos that I've taken today and on Monday. And then I can do a quick search for anything that I might want. So it searches like the faces that I've taken uh, most of. So of course, like me, my fiance, best friend, uh, homegirls, and mom are all right there in the front. So you kind of see the benefit of this. You can also search things like the places uh, you have gone to. So there's some in Buena Park, Burbank, Pasadena, and also the type of events you've gone to. So if you've gone to nightclubs, weddings, uh, cars, even though that's not a car, uh, the sky, and you can search for things like that. You can also search for videos specifically. I love this feature. I love the ability just to look for videos. Sometimes you don't wanna look through photos, just videos. So you can do that and you can look at creations that Google's created for you, uh, which are compilations. So this was really good though, uh, a little while back when I wanted to do something for Mother's Day for my mom, I wanted to see all the photos that I had of my mom. So I could share the ones of like me, brother, all that kind of stuff right there. So I was just able to find like every single photo all the way back to years and years and years. So it was really great to be able to see that all the way back to 2004 and just see every photo simple and easy. You can also search for a place. So say you were, man, I remember that one time I went to Big Bear, uh, I just, but I can't find those photos. So I can just type in something like snow and I can find all photos that have snow in it, whether they be wallpapers that I had or actual times when I was in the snow at Big Bear, like you see. Now it doesn't get everything right. You can see it got like the ocean here uh, or sand basically. Uh, in there and <laughs> clouds that look like it, but other times it does definitely get the snow right. So it's not a perfect system, but it really does come close. Even when I search for weddings, it'll come up with weddings and things that have a lot of white. So like wedding I was recently at, looking good there. And again, from here you can share, edit, delete, think, do things like that, of course. And uh, like it had on the cruise, when we were on the cruise, graduations. So it doesn't get it perfectly right, but it does have every single wedding I've been to on here. So that's really impressive. And it's just a great way to be able to see just everything from the past and how long you've been taking photos. And it's so much easier to find a photo here than just having albums with tens of thousands of photos as we've built up our photo libraries. So let me know what you guys think about this. You can set it up to back up when you're in uh, Wi-Fi. So you can set it up to do that. So that just when you're in Wi-Fi, it will back up. And, and you can do it by month view, year view, comfortable view. You can do all these kind of things. And then you can just set it up to back up under settings. And uh, how to back up sync. So I can back it up as I see fit here and only when Wi-Fi, that's very important, so you don't go over your data if you have data. Um, and you can group similar faces, or you cannot do that if you don't want to do that. You can have Google create suggestions for you based on like places, or like say if you were 
at Disneyland, which it did one for me for Disneyland. It created an image for that. So things like that. It's a really great app and I highly suggest you use it for backing up all your photos. This way they'll never build up on your phone and you have them in the cloud whenever you want to use them. By the way, none of these photos are shared by default. This is does not require Google Plus anymore. All that's gone. If you heard about this before, it is not does not require Google Plus. It's just a great way to have your photos. Hopefully you liked this video. If you did, please give a like, thumbs up down below. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.